So okay. I bring in all the wishes and greetings from behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute and team of Speed to Dr. Anuj Tiko for scoring a great rank of 117 in DM Medical Group NEET SS 2023 session. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Great. So can we know your detailed background history from where you started your career until date? I mean, what have you done? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually, I belong uh, from Jammu and Kashmir, proper Jammu. Uh, I have completed my UG from Karnataka, Bidar Institute of Medical Sciences, and I completed my MD medicine uh, from Government Medical College, Nagpur. So recently, I had completed my one-year uh, PG bond service as a SR in the same institute, and I was uh, at the same time I was preparing also for my NEET SS exams. Uh, last year, I had given uh, my first attempt of NEET SS exam, but uh, that attempt was like unprepared, uh, so my rank was not that good. So I thought of uh, like giving it one more try and I continued with my Speed Institute coaching service and uh, it has helped me a lot. <laughs> Very nice, doctor. Can you share some of your preparation strategy? How many hours you used to prepare? What did you prepare? How did you prepare to achieve this great rank? Yes, uh, sir. Actually, I had uh, started my preparation uh, back when I was a JR3, when I was a third year resident in uh, medicine. Uh, I had read Harrison that time and uh, I didn't complete uh, completely read everything from the Harrison because it is very difficult to read word by word everything from the Harrison. At the same time, I had uh, uh, joined this institute also and uh, some difficult topics like uh, I feel like in hematology or rheumatology, like these videos uh, which we get from Speed, they were like very much helpful for me. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I started, I just continued on reading Harrison. Uh, I guess I had uh, read some three or four times all the topics, uh, whichever was possible. And uh, in the end, like three or four months before exam, I had only revised whatever was left and I didn't read anything new topics. So uh, did you uh, solve the grand test and MCQs? What was your uh, practice sessions on that? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Actually, I had solved grand tests. I didn't solve all the grand tests, but I had attempted some six or seven grand tests. Initially, my rank was very bad. So I was a little bit worried about <laughs> whether it will be possible for me this year to get a good rank or not. But uh, as I kept on giving grand tests, my rank kept on improving. And uh, I didn't watch all the videos, but I had watched uh, like uh, videos regarding cardiology, rheumatology, hematology, and oncology. So those videos were very helpful for me and uh, I relied main on Harrison itself uh, to revise and read and some notes were also there and uh, I just kept on reading Harrison again and again uh, as our exam was also postponed for one month. So I kept on revising same thing again and again and it helped me a lot. Sir. Very nice. How many questions did you attend? Uh, sir, I had attempted around 142 questions in <laughs> the exam. And, uh, very good. Excellent. And what is the superficiality that you are aiming at what you wanted to do in India? Yes, sir, sir uh, since my MD medicine days, I wanted to opt for cardiology. So mm. I guess I would get it <laughs> this time. I, I should get it uh, in a good institute. Sure, and, sure, uh, sure. Definitely. I, you have very good fair chances to get in a good institute. Are you giving need in ESS also? Uh, no, sir. I have not applied for INISS. And uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so what is the message that you want to leave to the students? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank my parents, uh, my doctor, my teachers, my friends, and all my colleagues who have helped me a lot uh, throughout this journey. And uh, one thing I would like to tell all the students, uh, like if they want to hear me out, like, uh, it is very important to read Harrison uh, through your PG days and even after PG days, it is very important to read and revise from Harrison is a very vast book and uh, like every three or four years we get one new edition. But I think it is very, very important to read from Harrison's and of course, uh, this coaching has also helped me a lot and whatever questions were there in the exam, I felt that questions were very difficult this year compared to last year. What I felt and the paper was also a little bit lengthy. The time management is very, very important, like getting some 10 or 15 minutes in the end so that we can see what all we have reviewed and what all we have kept for review and all. That is very important. I feel that time management in the exam 
and keeping a calm mind in exam i think that is very important great doctor so we wish you all the best and all the success when he has to come dr anuj tiko will be a great cardiologist in making we thank wish you all the best and all the success keep going thank you thank you sir all the best thank you sir